Hey guys, Johnny Mitchell here. I've just finished installing a new depth sounder on the Queenslander. I'd just like to run you through a quick workaround to improve the side imaging capability on vessels that have a pod. In this case here, having one transducer on the back of the vessel would be fine, shooting the signal off to the starboard side, but the signal that shoots to the port will reflect and also hit the pod, creating a blind spot out to the port side. So you're going to be extremely limited in your side imaging capability, and that's not good enough. So what we've done, we've purchased a second transducer, exactly the same, placed it on the port side of the vessel, and then we use what's called a Y cable, and your starboard transducer plugs in to this plug, your port transducer plugs into this plug, and then this one runs into the back of the unit. So what's occurring, the Y cable takes the appropriate information from the starboard transducer, takes the rest of the information from the port transducer, and the same data is displayed on screen. But the benefit of having two transducers is not only to eliminate the pod, but it also allows you better positioning of each transducer to get a better image. Both transducers can be clearly seen on the back of the vessel. The starboard transducer is angled down slightly at the back. That aids for high speed operation for traditional sounding. So having two transducers eliminates the pod, eliminates your blind spots and improves your overall picture because you can improve and select the position of each transducer. Plus in this case, we're isolating the 2D traditional information and altering the transducer's position. So there's plenty of benefits in using a Y cable and using two transducers.